Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope everyone's doing well today. So I wanted to do a uh, short tutorial on using the Boolean Assistant in Lightburn, which uh, I recently discovered and I'm sure it's been there a while, but I didn't know about it and it would have been really helpful. So uh, I thought I'd share it with you folks. So over on the left, we have the, the Boolean functions, which uh, are union, subtract, and intersect. And each of those requires that you work with two objects, two shapes, and sitting right above it is weld, which is not a Boolean, uh, and you can use it to work with multiple objects. So up in Tools, up top, Boolean Assistant is right here. So let's start off with a square and push shift and just draw out a square. Click your selector tool and then we'll grab a hexagon, do the same thing and put that into the side of it here. So you can uh, just select both of them, go up to Tools, and you can see the booleans are all available, and the Assistant is right here. So when you pull it up, you have your options, a Union, Intersect, Subtract, B from A, and A from B, and you can just scroll across and see what the result of each one would be, which uh, I got pretty excited about when I found it, so... You can, uh, don't forget you can use your scroll on your mouse to scroll in and out. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. So let's, uh, let's grab another square. Let's just copy this one. Select it and Control D to duplicate. Pull it out and we'll put it over here. So if you, uh, if you selected all of those, since it's more than two now, go to Tools you'll see that the only thing available is uh, the weld, which once again is not a Boolean function. They're all here and they're all grayed out. So to get around that, uh, I'm gonna level this up so I feel better about it. You can, uh, you can group two of these together. So let's say, let's group the squares, select one, select the other, go up top and you can group. You could just have also right-clicked and grouped here, but it's grouped now. So now we can select everything. Go back up to Tools, and the booleans are available. We can select our assistant, and then we can scroll across the options and see what, what happens. And it's not that big a deal with a, a small uh, project like this, but uh, if you had a large, complicated project and you can work everything down to the two objects that are required, uh, the Boolean Assistant would come in really handy. Uh, so let's, uh, let's add something else to it. Let's grab a circle, push shift, draw out a circle, hit the selector tool, and we'll put one at the bottom, control D. Put another one at the top, and then we've got to add them to one of these existing objects. So now we've got to select the one that has this in it, which it was by itself actually, and then we can group that. And we should be down to two objects again. There, so now we can select everything and do it again. And I'm just playing around, but uh, that's how I learn. When I have time, I just I sit in here and I find something in Lightburn and I just start working with it. And then as often as I can, I tell you folks about it and hopefully it's helpful. So those are some pretty sweet designs, uh, even though it's just a small sampling of it. We'll leave it on that one. I like that one. 
and uh, you can play around with it and uh, see what you can come up with and uh, hopefully it'll be useful to you so I really appreciate you folks taking time to watch uh, I hope the video was helpful in some way and I'll drop links to all of our projects and tutorials down in the description so if you get a chance check those out and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So you folks take care. Check back often for new videos, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.